Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue. This morning I'm leaving the house here just before 8 a.m. We got a call here so we have to go give them a hand. Why don't we head over to the shop here in our new pickup truck. This is a 2023 Chevy Silverado. This is a pretty sweet looking truck here. Really do like the new look of it and it's pretty cool here. But the call guys is a delivery truck that has a flat tire and they asked if we could go help them change it here. So we got the jacks, we got the equipment. So why don't we go give them a hand here. We just have to stop by the shop to get the light duty wrecker. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I'm really excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series. There's always work for us here. Uh, from small toes to big uh, uh, equipment, big trucks breaking down here. But we should have everything we need. Why don't I just uh, check the toolbox? Okay, we got the car jack here. We got the impact. And yeah, we should be all set here. So we'll head over. With the tow truck company, guys, we do several different things. We do jump starts. We do... Uh, tire change outs, uh, like putting a spare tire on. We do long haul toes, uh, toes, rollbacks, and we do a little bit of equipment hauling here. So we do a little bit of everything to keep us busy, and it just works out here for us. But Elk Mountain, Wyoming, guys, is a really neat town, and this is an edited version uh, that even expands it even more here. But oh, look at that, guys. It looks like this is a delivery van. They said right rear. Oh, yeah, that is flat here. So why don't we get out uh, the jack and the impact and get this tire changed? All right, we got the jack there. We should be all set there. We got it up in the air here. We'll get the impact out here. Let's get to change in the tire. Awesome, we'll pull the tire off here. Now the spare tire is usually tucked underneath here. We'll take that out. We'll put that on and we'll uh, get it back on. There we have it, guys. We got the spare tire on here. Why don't we just put that in the back here so they should be all set here. Just a simple tire change here and we'll get the uh, jack put back away here. But let's get on back to the shop and wait for the next one. I just got paid, so we should be all set with that one here. Sometimes we get paid uh, right before we leave. Other times it takes a day or two for the customer to end up paying here. But that is awesome, guys, to start off the morning with something uh, pretty simple. Just helping someone change a, uh, change a tire and uh, put a spare tire on here. Luckily, uh, they should be able uh, to get that. That's a pretty common tire. And get uh, that back up and running here but we're back here at the shop so i'm going to go inside the office here for a little bit but you guys can see at the shop here we do have our twin c rotator we have the uh, uh wrecker we just took a few rollbacks and then we also do have another heavy wrecker but i'm gonna head in the office and we'll catch you back for the next call a call just came in from a landscape company. They just uh, picked up some materials and it looks like it overloaded the truck here. So they are saying that something like the axle is broken here. So we need the rollback. They said the biggest rollback and this is it here, our international. So why don't we head on over? Looking at the address of where we're heading, guys, this is just down the road. Uh, maybe a football field or two away from the landscape supply. So if it was overloaded, they didn't make it too far here. But I'm always there to give them a hand. And this rollback, guys, is one of our busiest trucks here. Let's see. Let's see. I do know the landscape supply is down uh, the uh, uh, next street to the right. Oh, look at that, guys. They are just off here. It looks like they just came off from the landscape supply over there. And whoa. Yeah, they definitely have a broken truck here. That must be. That almost looks like an axle, leaf spring, something like that here. But we'll turn around here and we'll uh, give them a hand. We're going to have to use a winch to pull this on here. This must be sitting on the frame. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. And they have a full load of, looks like, three-quarter inch to one inch gravel here. Super heavy on the winch, but we have the strong enough winch here. So let's see here. 
We'll put the winch in freeze pool and we'll just walk the winch all the way back. It looks like they do have a uh, plow mount. That should be a pretty solid place to attach it. Let's get to winching. All right, we're gonna be dropping this off at the mechanic here. We are sitting pretty low here. We are probably maxing out. Well, we could really be putting on this roll back here. It's all because there's so much weight with that gravel. And yeah, gravel and sand are some of the heaviest things you could haul with a dump truck here. But yeah, I got up on the roll back here. Definitely put some new scratches in the roll back, but hey, it's a tow truck. It's meant to get uh, to work. Hopefully, they get uh, get this truck up and running here. I think they said they were going to have to rent a pit, uh, dump truck until this gets fixed here since they need to continue on. They have lots of jobs planned and things like that here. But let's get this over to Mechanic. It looks like the mechanic's super busy here. A lot of farm equipment, and I see a truck cab there. Oh, he has plenty of trucks inside here. It's good to see, though, uh, that the mechanic is busy. I mean, there's always equipment and things breaking down here, but we'll get this unloaded, and we'll get on back to the shop. We're all set here. We got the truck dropped off here. I was actually talking to the mechanic. He came outside to look at the damage to the truck here. He said it looks to be an axle and one leaf spring. And he thinks the leaf spring broke and then that extra weight came crashing down. And the axle ended up breaking uh, when it got bent here. So he said he should have it up and running by the end of the week. Which is great news for our customer here. But we're back at the shop just about. And we'll wait around here for the next one. Just as I was grabbing a few things from the truck returning from the previous tow, we just got a call, guys. This is for a RV that is broken down on the edge of town here. They are from out of state, out of town, and they uh, are saying it's overheating. Uh, looks to be the transmission, so let's see here. The rotator is probably a little bit too big. Why don't we take HR75? Uh, this truck here, guys, is a Western Star Heavy Wrecker. This is probably upwards of a 40 or 50 ton wrecker, so we should have plenty of power, plenty of uh, equipment with this uh, tow truck here to do the job here. They're saying it's a 35-foot RV, and RVs usually are super heavy, uh, so we'll just have to kind of make do with this. Driving these heavy wreckers is a lot of fun here. It's something I always enjoy. And this heavy rescue series is a lot of fun for me. And we'll be doing more of it here. I've been switching between PC and Xbox. And I just have been having a great time here with it. And uh, we will be doing a lot more Xbox videos coming up. We should be coming up on the RV shortly, and oh, there it is in the distance, right on the edge of town. I mean, they are probably three or four hundred yards from uh, when the town began here. So let's see, I have to find a good place to turn around here. Oh, this is going to be a good parking lot, so we'll just get turn around. Definitely a lot easier than trying to pull down a side street than back up in the main road. I mean, this county road is super busy, especially uh, early morning. Oh yeah, this truck should have no problem towing this RV. Sometimes the uh, customers call and uh, they uh, say it's a bigger vehicle. But when we show up, uh, we can see that our trucks can do it here. So that is good for them. Hopefully we could uh, get them towed here to a mechanic or at least to a rest stop where they could uh, kind of uh, take a look at it themselves and not on the side road here. So backed up here to just have to get the tow bar in the center. Keep going, keep going. I think right about there should be good. Just finished putting the safety chains on here. I have this wireless uh, kind of lights that we're gonna be putting on here that work with the tow truck. That way they know when I'm stopping. The RV's ready to get towed here. Looks like the uh, customers want it towed to a restaurant, so that's what I'm going to be doing. But I'm running low on camera battery, so I'll catch you guys later. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more.